Yo, what is going on everyone and welcome back to a brand new video. Today I have a huge collection opening. So basically this collection is from the same seller that I bought the $2,500 collection from. Basically this is the rest of it. So in this one there's a huge amount of commons and there should be a huge amount of hollows just like the last time. Now I don't know if there's this around the same amount. There might be a little bit less but at the same time at, um, the cards that were shown. Um, were very expensive and they added up to be a lot. I don't know how much this is going to be worth in total, but you know what we're going to see. And then obviously you'll see in the title. This guy literally had no more room to put anything else in. This thing is st st Holy shit. Okay, so this is what I see to start off. It's kind of going to be hard to show. Apparently this guy like Dragon Ball Z. Um, I guess I'll pick up the camera a little bit and then... Basically a bunch of stuff. It's hard to show with this tripod considering it doesn't go any higher But there's just a lot of stuff and he used booster boxes old booster boxes as Packaging which is pretty funny to be honest, but let me start just grabbing stuff out of here There's a bunch of promo packs too, which is cool. It's a huge binder sweet I don't know, not a huge binder, but a big binder. Holy crap First thing I see is that there's two seven dollar PGs without sleeves and this this is literally all chuck full of cards right here oh my gosh this is gonna be a lot harder to go through than the last one i'll tell you that right now um i'm just gonna start taking cards out. i don't know which ones are gonna be hollows and which ones are gonna be commons but i'm gonna try here we'll see this is definitely completely different from the last one all right so i'm just gonna start taking cards out half the majority of them should be commons that i'm taking out but we're going to try to find the hollows as well. All right, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to put all these cards down. We're going to look at the, the ones I've already taken out. And I'm going to look through these after the video. And if any of them end up being hollows or anything, I'll start the video back up. So starting off, we have a bunch of promo packs. And I mean a bunch. Like, this is probably 20 promo packs. And there's a couple cards in the middle of these. Uh, I just got a bunch of markers here. These just, nope, just a bunch of random markers. Um, we got two lovely companions here. Um, just a bunch of different cards. Um, oh, Dragonic Overlord from the original trial deck right there. Uh, trying to go through this as well as possible, but it's kind of hard considering I don't know what half of this crap is. All right, we're going to just chuck the promo packs to this side here. Oh, look at that. It's from the, uh, Legend deck. Just, just cards everywhere. Okay, now I'm pretty sure. Okay, well, there's. I love how he showed these where right here, jelly beans as one of the, like the cards to sell the thing with, and there was one in the bulk. All right, I'm gonna zoom in a little bit, and I'm gonna go through this to start off. I guess this is where all the expensive ones are. I mean, he just threw a bunch of sleeves in here. I don't know. Again, this is very different from the last one, so. You basically use sleeves as cushioning, so I'm assuming these are the expensive ones. Even though the expensive ones, yeah, these are definitely the expensive ones. Um, the expensive ones he showed were in sleeves originally, so I don't know if he took them out of the sleeves or not. Or I just almost messed up a card there, which is not the plan. Oh my. Just a bunch of hollows. These ones are the last ones, like these ones are upside down and everything. Not gonna complain though, obviously. Um, I'm just gonna grab a stack and we're just gonna look through it. There's cards everywhere, but you know what? Let's just look through it. Uh, Coco's to start off. Ooh, Mujin Lord. I just sold one of those. Those things are worth a good bit. Hari. Ooh, sweet. This is perfect timing to grab this. Um, if I could find some Hari Night Rose support in here, that'd be great. Uh, ooh, Conro S. These are SPs and they're not even sleeved. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Blade Master and, and uh, Cohen SPs. Um, the Ace. Oh, look at those million rat. I don't know if those have any worth. SVRs. These weren't even shown. I love how I love how this guy works. He doesn't even show half the stuff, and then I end up getting a lot more than I originally expect. Usually, how I do this is I underestimate what I see, and then I go on if I can still make profit off it. That's usually when I buy this stuff. And it's pretty funny how uh, me underestimating is underestimating like cards that I. Actually, I think this one's actually worth a good amount right now. I'm not sure. Um, basically, I underestimate what I see, and then when you get a bunch more than what you actually think you're going to get, then, yeah, stop, then, <laughs> let's just say I made a lot more than I originally expected. Um, so, actually, I didn't say this at the start, but um, I spent 700 on this one. The last one, I spent 600 so this one should be better. Blue Scud Barkle. 
Um, just a bunch of cards. Nothing really hugely worth anything over there. Um, all right. Just more cards here. Silent Tom's original ones. Oh, um, what is that? That is a OR uh, Swift Archer Fushimi. An SGR Supreme Heavenly Emperor Dragon Defeat Flare Dragon. I, I know this is going to hurt people seeing that these things aren't in like any type of sleeves. Um, this one, I don't even know. That's a promo. Oh, another SP. This one's for Fighter Collection. He gave me one of these last time, but it was it was also from the Fighter Collection. Oh my god, Tradition Number Dragons. More PGs right there. What the frick? Okay, for a second I thought these were high rarity ones, but Shirakis are worth a good amount. Uh, Exiv. Uh, Maelstroms. I... Oh my, Clay Dolls. Pretty sure these were in the pictures of Alice's. Those are actually really good pulls right now. Um, just keep going through them. I mean, there's just a bunch of stuff here. Uh, Scarlet Witch Coco, uh, Triple Rares. I don't, I've seen cards that were in the thing, in the, uh, uh, I haven't seen, like, any, like, like, huge stack of cards where they were in the pictures yet. So, I don't know where they are. They might be somewhere else. I'm, again, there's just cards after cards here. Oh, wait, that is, wait, what did you want? This one's from the Legend deck. Okay. I thought that was an SP. I was kind of like, ooh. But you know what? That wasn't it. Ooh, Chronojet Dragon uh, Hollows there. Hey. Uh, Metallica Phoenix. Uh, just a bunch of good cards, honestly. Ray, Ray, Breath Dragon, something like that. All right, just keep going through them. It's going to be a long video, to be honest, but... Um, I really don't care. <laughs> Just a lot of nice cards. Ooh, Sunset Ray Knight uh, Gurga. Actually, it's a really good pull right now. Oh, man. Four Blaster Blade Seekers, Hollows. I mean, Liberators. Jeez, I'm just messing up left and right here. It's very overwhelming when you just see, like, this many cards at once. Holy crap. Oh, my. Just a bunch of good cards. Ashas. Okay. Flower Maiden Ashas. I thought those were Searing Hearts for a second. Pretty sure Searing Hearts are, have a lot more value to them. Just, just, oh my gosh, they're just everywhere. Good ones. Oh, regular Chrono Dragon. Sweet. All right. Mystery Phoenix. Garnet Star Dragon. Oh, there's a Diablo. Happy to see that. Oh, man. A Blaster Dark Diablo. All right. And here's a little bit more from that stack. Thunderbreak Dragon. Hey. I thought that was a Gurgit. Uh, History Makers. Uh, Moot. Mandalo, right? I thought that was Mujin. I don't know what is going on right now. Brain is not functioning. All right. Just even more hollows here. There's These are the ones that were upside down that I was talking about. Okay. So I still haven't seen any of the, like, the SPs that I saw or the, uh, there was a bunch of markers, uh, sign markers. Oh, uh, Dudley, Jared. I was lo originally looking at Okay, never mind. Yeah, just a bunch of good stuff. All right. Half of these cards I've never even seen before, but some of them look like other cards, and I keep thinking that is that other card, but it's not. All right, not this tiger. Do, do, do. Oh, spinning valiant. That one's worth like nothing. Perfect razor. Oh, uh, or sure Kaiser. Hey, I pulled one of these in the. Oh, holy crap! I can't get it to the top. I pulled one of these in my uh, Unite Team P4 opening, which was pretty nice. Amaterasu there. Uh, generation rares. Ooh, SP right there. Ooh, okay. Got some Dragonic Overlords right there. Uh, corals. Dragonic Death Side. That's actually a V Series one. Sweet. It's, uh, ooh, Con original Conroe. Another SP Blight Master. Okay, okay. Generation rare Flare Dragons. A regular Dragonic Overlords right there. Fushimis. All right, so that's it for that box. I don't know where the... Uh, oh, wait, they're in the binder. I forgot. There's so much stuff around here, I completely forgot. Here is most likely the stuff that's actually that was actually shown. So starting off here, oh my gosh. Serral Dragons, uh, OR Shiryuki, uh, SP Mira. Uh, this is the one. This is... I might keep this card, okay? This binder is actually really nice. This is an SP Blaster Blade right here for the original one from BT01. I might keep that. Hopefully, it's in good condition. I can't see right there, but I'm going to look at it later. 
Uh, we got the greats. We got just a bunch of SPs here. Um, just more SPs. Uh, we got Dismels. Dismels are worth so much right now. Crayon Tigers. This was where I was like, what the heck is this guy doing? Let me fix this a little bit. Um, basically, these are just SP Lozenge Magus. Original SP Lozenge Magus. There's eight of them, which is just crazy. Um, here's some of the markers I was talking about. Renzi Zugamori ones. Uh, Destiny. Ooh, sweet. Dismal. Uh, Origin Rare. Overlords. Airmos. Sweet. Uh, Baris. Um, I don't know what the frick those are. I've never seen those before. <laughs> Coco. Oh, wait. These are... I don't think I knew these were SP Cocos. Holy crap. These are all SPs. I thought these were triples. Sweet. All right. Twin Bladers. Obviously. Right there. Um, Ziegenberg's uh, Guild. Susanna Woes. Okay. Okay. Uh, another Ziegenberg, a uh, Berserk Dragons, another Berserk Dragon, a bunch of Bermudas, more Bermudas, um, okay, so some good cards here, is there multiple here, no, alright, uh, Silent Toms, um, just a bunch of good cards, obviously, um, here's the Jelly Beans that I was talking about before, and then he had one in the bulk, which was pretty funny, Zambakus, uh, more Bermuda, Reindeer, a little meme in our Discord right there, and yeah there's that i think honestly that might be it for all the hollows again there's just a bunch of random hollow um not hollows commons now i mean like here's just a little stack of just oh well i mean there are the legends there that which are worth some alfred early original one there's just stuff from random like just sets here and oh my god it's just amazing honestly like i mean i think that's gonna be about it for right now i don't know if there's gonna be anything else good in here um, it's just a bunch of stuff. It's kind of overwhelming and it's kind of hard to really like Spot out and look at like exact cards because there's so many of them But I think that's gonna be it assuming I'll find a couple more things to put in the video But if that if not then that's it. Hope you guys did enjoy it the like button subscribe and yeah, we'll see you guys later Goodbye. Holy crap. This is crazy